Hi, my name is Prabhakar Mitha. I'm currently a resident in the Department of Urology at the University of Rochester in New York and co-author of a publication titled Positive Surgical Margins in Radical Prostatectomy Patients Do Not Predict Long-Term Oncological Outcomes, Results from the Shared Equal Access Regional Cancer Hospital Cohort. On behalf of all my co-authors, I'd like to thank the British Journal of Urology for the opportunity to publish and present our research. While we know that positive surgical margins after radical prostatectomy are consistently and independently associated with higher risk of biochemical recurrence, the impact of a positive surgical margin on harder, more clinically significant outcomes, including metastasis, castrate-resistant prostate cancer, and prostate cancer-specific mortality, has not been established. Despite this, a positive surgical margin alone after radical prostatectomy has been used as an indication for initiating further treatment in the form of adjuvant radiotherapy. Our data set included over 4,000 patients who underwent radical prostatectomy between 1988 and 2013 at six VA medical centers around the country. 40% of those patients had positive surgical margins, and those positive surgical margins tended to be associated with worse clinical and pathologic features across the board. The median follow-up time was 6.6 .6 years, and more than a quarter of our patients had greater than 10 years of follow-up time. After adjusting for demographic and pathological characteristics, positive margins were significantly associated with increased risk of biochemical recurrence. However, positive surgical margins were not independently associated with castrate-resistant prostate cancer, metastasis, or prostate cancer-specific mortality. This distinction held when we stratified by pathological Gleason score, pathological stage, or PSA group while positive surgical margins remained associated with increased risk of biochemical recurrence in all subgroups, we could find no association between positive surgical margins and any of the later clinical endpoints, even in the highest risk patients. Thus, we concluded that a positive surgical margin after radical prostatectomy is not an independent risk factor for castrate-resistant prostate cancer, metastasis, or prostate cancer-specific mortality overall or within any subsets of radical prostatectomy patients. In the absence of other high-risk features, positive surgical margins may not worsen long-term outcomes and may therefore not be an indication for adjuvant radiotherapy.